What secrets could be hidden within the DNA of one of the most fascinating civilizations in human history? Imagine uncovering a time capsule, thousands of years old, that reveals the genetic blueprint of the people who built the pyramids, ruled vast empires, and left an indelible mark on the world. Ancient Egypt's monuments have stood the test of time, but their DNA, it's rewriting history in ways we never imagined. For centuries, we've marveled at the grandeur of this civilization, their incredible architecture, artistic achievements, and their deep connection to science and spirituality. But beyond the visible and tangible lies something even more extraordinary, the biological legacy encoded in their DNA. What if this legacy could finally answer questions about who the ancient Egyptians really were, where they came from, and how they fit into the broader story of humanity? Today, with advancements in genetic technology, scientists have unlocked secrets buried deep within the mummified remains of ancient Egyptians, and what they've discovered is as groundbreaking as it is surprising. The results challenge long-held beliefs, illuminate ancient migrations, and reveal connections that span continents. So, why is ancient Egyptian DNA so fascinating? It's not just the scientific breakthroughs or the historical revelations, it's the way these findings connect us to the people of the past, their lives, their struggles, and their triumphs. This is a story of discovery, one that takes us beyond the towering pyramids and golden tombs into the very essence of the ancient Egyptians themselves. Join us as we explore how science is unraveling the mysteries of this ancient civilization, one genetic strand at a time. By the end of this journey, you'll never look at ancient Egypt the same way again. For decades, scientists believed that extracting DNA from ancient Egyptian mummies was an impossible dream. The reasons were compelling, Egypt's hot climate, the high humidity in tombs, and the chemicals used in mummification were thought to destroy DNA completely. Could the genetic code of ancient Egyptians survive thousands of years under such harsh conditions? The skepticism wasn't unfounded. Early attempts to extract DNA from mummies often resulted in contamination or unreliable results. The mummification process itself, involving substances like natron and resin, was a double-edged sword. While preserving the bodies for eternity, it also accelerated DNA degradation. Many researchers questioned whether authentic ancient Egyptian DNA could ever be recovered at all. But then came a turning point, with the advent of high-throughput DNA sequencing technology. The seemingly impossible became possible. This revolutionary method allowed scientists to extract and analyze even tiny fragments of degraded DNA. Combined with rigorous contamination testing and damage repair protocols, it became clear that ancient DNA could be authenticated with precision. One breakthrough technique was nucleotide misincorporation testing, which examines the specific patterns of damage unique to ancient DNA. This process enabled researchers to distinguish genuine ancient DNA from modern contamination, a critical step in ensuring accuracy. Another game-changer was the focus on mitochondrial DNA, which is more abundant in cells than nuclear DNA and more likely to survive over millennia. However, these advancements didn't come overnight. It took years of trial and error as well as collaboration across disciplines, to develop methods robust enough to extract DNA from mummies. Archaeologists, geneticists, and historians worked together to achieve this groundbreaking success, turning mummified remains into genetic time capsules. This triumph of science opened a window into the past, allowing researchers to unlock secrets about the ancient Egyptians that had been buried, quite literally, for thousands of years. The stage was now set for a deeper dive into their genetic identity, their origins, and the stories encoded within their DNA. And what those stories reveal, they're as captivating as the civilization itself. Ancient Egypt was more than a kingdom, it was a bridge between worlds. Positioned at the crossroads of Africa, Asia, and Europe, Egypt's geography shaped its history and, as it turns out, its DNA. Genetic studies have revealed that the ancient Egyptians were a true mosaic of influences, reflecting the ebb and flow of people and cultures over millennia. The DNA of these mummies tells a story of deep connections to the Near East, particularly the Levant, a region that includes modern-day Turkey, Israel, and Syria. It also reveals genetic ties to Neolithic populations in Anatolia and Europe, suggesting a long history of migration and interaction. What's truly fascinating is the consistency of this genetic profile. Despite centuries of invasions by Libyans, Assyrians, Persians, Greeks, and Romans, 
The DNA of ancient Egyptians from the New Kingdom to the Roman period shows remarkable continuity. This suggests that, at a genetic level, the core population remained stable, even as their rulers changed. One clue to their ancestry lies in the haplogroups identified in their DNA. Haplogroups are genetic markers passed down through generations, and two stand out in ancient Egyptians, E1b1b, common in North Africa, and J, associated with the Middle East. Together, these markers paint a picture of a population deeply connected to its neighbors across the Mediterranean and beyond. But the story doesn't end there. The DNA also reveals what isn't present, at least not in significant amounts. Compared to modern Egyptians, ancient Egyptians had a much lower percentage of sub-Saharan ancestry. Modern Egyptians share about 8% more of their genome with sub-Saharan populations, a change attributed to events in the last 2,000 years such as increased trade and migration along the Nile. This unique genetic signature of ancient Egyptians underscores their role as a cultural and biological crossroads. Their DNA reflects a civilization shaped not just by its geography but also by its connections with the wider world. The evidence challenges simplistic narratives and invites us to rethink the complex interplay of identity, migration, and culture in one of history's most iconic civilizations. This genetic crossroads is only the beginning of the story. What other secrets does their DNA hold about the lives they lived and the challenges they faced? The DNA of ancient Egyptians doesn't just tell us where they came from. It also offers a glimpse into how they lived. Beneath the surface of their genetic makeup lie clues about their health, diet, and everyday struggles, painting a vivid picture of life along the Nile thousands of years ago. One striking revelation from the DNA is evidence of health conditions that plagued the ancient population. Traces of tuberculosis and leprosy were detected in some mummies, suggesting that these diseases were present in Egypt long before they were documented in other parts of the world. This aligns with the harsh realities of ancient life, where dense populations and a reliance on agriculture made the spread of infectious diseases more likely. But it's not just illness that leaves its mark in DNA. The very structure of ancient Egyptians' teeth reveals fascinating details about their diet. Dental analysis shows extreme wear and tear, consistent with a diet rich in cereals and bread. These foods, staples of the Egyptian diet, were often prepared with grinding stones, leaving behind tiny particles of sand and grit that wore down their teeth. This abrasion caused pain, infections, and sometimes tooth loss an unexpected reminder of the challenges even advanced civilizations faced. Ancient Egyptian DNA also reveals subtle layers of social complexity. By comparing genetic samples from different mummies, researchers discovered variations that hint at differences between regions and even social classes. Some mummies show genetic markers tied to distant regions, likely reflecting the movement of people for trade, diplomacy, or even enslavement. Others, particularly those buried with more elaborate grave goods, showed genetic continuity with local populations, suggesting they belonged to long-established Egyptian families. Perhaps most intriguing are the rare genetic markers found in certain mummies, which hint at unexpected migrations. These markers suggest contact with regions beyond the usual trade routes, opening the door to questions about how far-reaching Egypt's connections truly were. Could these genetic outliers represent diplomats, traders, or adventurers who found their way to the land of the pharaohs. From the diseases they battled to the meals they prepared, the lives of ancient Egyptians come alive through their DNA. Each strand tells a story not just of kings and conquests, but of the everyday experiences that made up this extraordinary civilization. And yet, the DNA reveals even more. How Egypt's role as a cultural hub shaped its genetic legacy over time. What other hidden stories are waiting to be uncovered? The answers lie in the genes of these long-buried individuals, who continue to whisper their truths through science. As the centuries passed, Egypt's genetic story underwent a profound shift. The DNA of ancient Egyptians reveals a population largely connected to the Near East and Mediterranean during the time of the New Kingdom, Ptolemaic, and Roman periods. However, when compared to modern Egyptians, a noticeable difference emerges, an increase in sub-Saharan ancestry by approximately 8%. What caused this transformation? The timeline points to a turning point in the last 2,000 years. Several historical factors contributed to this genetic shift, with the Nile River playing a central role. Acting as a natural highway, the Nile facilitated the movement of people and goods, 
connecting Egypt to sub-Saharan Africa and creating opportunities for long-distance interaction. One significant driver of this genetic influx was trade. Egypt became a critical node in trans-Saharan trade networks, exchanging gold, ivory, spices, and other goods with regions to the south. This trade brought more than commodities. It brought people. Traders, laborers, and settlers from sub-Saharan Africa moved along these routes, mingling with local populations and leaving a lasting genetic legacy. Another major factor was the trans-Saharan slave trade, which began around 1,300 years ago and reached its height in the 19th century. Historical records estimate that between 6 and 7 million people were moved from sub-Saharan Africa to North Africa, with Egypt serving as a major transit point. These individuals brought their own genetic contributions, reshaping the population over generations. However, this influx wasn't solely the result of external forces. Egypt's long-standing interactions with Nubia, its southern neighbor, also played a role. The relationship between Egypt and Nubia was complex, marked by periods of trade, conquest, and cultural exchange. The two regions were deeply interconnected, and marriages between Egyptians and Nubians further blended their gene pools. It's important to note that this shift doesn't erase the genetic legacy of ancient Egyptians. Instead, it adds another layer to the story of a civilization that thrived as a cultural crossroads. The arrival of sub-Saharan influence highlights Egypt's evolving identity, shaped by waves of migration, trade, and interaction. This genetic transformation reflects a broader theme in human history, the constant movement and blending of populations. Far from being isolated, ancient Egypt was part of a dynamic, interconnected world. Its DNA reminds us that history is not static. It is a living, evolving narrative written by the people who lived it. And yet, this is just one chapter. What other events might have shaped Egypt's genetic legacy? The answers may lie in the southern regions of Upper Egypt and Nubia waiting to be uncovered. The DNA of ancient Egyptians does more than provide a glimpse into their lives. It forces us to rethink how we understand history. For centuries, historians and archaeologists have pieced together Egypt's story using written records, artifacts, and monuments. But now, genetic evidence is rewriting that narrative, challenging assumptions and filling in the gaps left by traditional methods. One of the most compelling revelations is how closely ancient Egyptian DNA aligns with populations from the Near East and Mediterranean. This finding not only highlights Egypt's deep connections to these regions, but also reshapes how we think about migration and cultural exchange in the ancient world. Far from being a closed society, Egypt was a hub of interaction, drawing people and ideas from across three continents. The genetic evidence also provides a corrective to some long held misconceptions. For example, Debates about the origins of the ancient Egyptians often leaned on biased interpretations of physical traits or cultural artifacts. DNA has stripped away these assumptions, offering a more objective perspective on their ancestry. It shows that the ancient Egyptians were neither isolated nor entirely homogeneous. They were part of a dynamic web of connections spanning Africa, Asia, and Europe. But this newfound clarity doesn't come without controversy. Some scholars have raised concerns about how genetic data is interpreted, particularly when it comes to questions of identity and heritage. For instance, what does it mean to say that ancient Egyptians were closely related to populations in the Levant? Does this diminish their African identity? Or does it reinforce the idea that Egypt was a bridge between cultures? These questions remind us that history is complex and multifaceted. The DNA evidence doesn't provide all the answers, but it adds depth and nuance to our understanding of ancient Egypt's place in the world. Beyond the debates, this research has a broader significance. It underscores the interconnectedness of humanity, showing how migration and cultural exchange have shaped civilizations throughout history. It also demonstrates the power of science to unlock new dimensions of the past, revealing stories that would otherwise remain untold. Most importantly, it connects us to the people of ancient Egypt in a deeply personal way. Through their DNA, we see their struggles, their triumphs, and their place in the great tapestry of human history. Their genetic legacy is not just a relic of the past. It is a reminder of the shared heritage that binds us all. So why does ancient Egyptian DNA matter? Because it teaches us not just about where we've been, but about who we are. And as technology continues to advance, we can only imagine what new revelations await, hidden in the genes of history's most iconic civilizations.
As groundbreaking as the study of ancient Egyptian DNA has been, it's clear we've only scratched the surface. The genetic insights uncovered so far open the door to even greater mysteries, waiting to be solved with future research. What else might these ancient genomes reveal about one of history's most influential civilizations? One promising avenue lies in exploring regions beyond Middle Egypt, particularly Upper Egypt and Nubia. These areas, closer to the heart of Africa, likely hold genetic clues to an even richer and more complex history of interaction and migration. Could mummies from these regions reveal a higher percentage of sub-Saharan ancestry? Or perhaps they'll shed light on the unique cultural exchanges that shaped ancient Egypt's southern borders. Another exciting frontier is the potential to study the DNA of individual historical figures. Iconic mummies like Tutankhamun and Ramses II have been studied extensively. But genetic technology is now capable of answering deeper questions. Could their genomes reveal inherited health conditions, familial relationships, or even physical traits? For instance, could we one day reconstruct their facial features or understand their susceptibility to specific diseases? Then there's the broader timeline to consider. The mummies studied so far represent a relatively narrow window of Egypt's 3,000-year history. Expanding genetic studies to cover earlier periods, such as the predynastic or Old Kingdom eras, could provide a more comprehensive picture of how Egypt's population evolved over time. Did major events like the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt leave genetic imprints? How did early interactions with Nubia and the Levant shape the genetic makeup of the first pharaohs? Beyond Egypt, the study of ancient DNA offers a chance to place Egypt within the broader context of human migration and cultural exchange. By comparing Egyptian genomes with those from Mesopotamia, the Indus Valley, or even Europe, researchers could trace the pathways of ancient trade networks and the flow of ideas that defined the ancient world. But these possibilities also raise new challenges. How do we ensure that this research is conducted ethically, respecting the cultural heritage and sensitivities of modern populations? And how do we interpret these findings responsibly, avoiding the oversimplifications that have plagued historical narratives in the past? The future of ancient DNA research isn't just about solving mysteries, it's about deepening our understanding of humanity's shared past. Each new discovery has the potential to bring us closer to the people who lived thousands of years ago bridging the gap between their world and ours. What secrets still lie hidden in the genes of ancient Egyptians? The answers are waiting to be uncovered, one strand of DNA at a time. And with every breakthrough, we step closer to unraveling the full story of one of the greatest civilizations in human history. The DNA of ancient Egyptians isn't just a key to understanding their civilization. It's a window into the interconnectedness of humanity itself. Through these genetic discoveries, We've learned that ancient Egyptians were part of a vast and dynamic web of migrations, interactions, and cultural exchanges. They weren't just builders of pyramids or rulers of empires. They were participants in a global story that continues to shape who we are today. From the stable genetic continuity of their populations during the New Kingdom to the subtle shifts brought by migration and trade, the story told by their DNA is as rich and complex as the civilization they built. These findings challenge old assumptions illuminate new truths, and remind us of the incredible resilience and diversity of human populations. But the most fascinating part, this is only the beginning. The study of ancient Egyptian DNA has opened the door to endless possibilities, from reconstructing forgotten lineages to uncovering untold stories of trade, migration, and identity. As technology advances, who knows what other secrets may come to light? Ancient Egyptian DNA is more than a scientific breakthrough. It's a testament to the power of curiosity and human ingenuity. It connects us to a civilization that continues to inspire wonder and challenges us to think more deeply about the past. So, as we uncover these genetic mysteries, let's not forget the bigger picture. The story of ancient Egypt is the story of humanity, a tale of innovation, resilience, and connection across time and space. And through their DNA, the ancient Egyptians remind us that, even in a world divided by borders and cultures, we are all part of the same shared legacy. What do you think the next big discovery will be? Could ancient DNA unlock even more secrets of our collective past? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of history.